would you give ESL authors to get published in um, international journals? I think the number one concern that they should have is about having their paper looked at by a natural English speaker if they're publishing Western journals, English language journals. I think the biggest turn off for any editor is to get a paper that doesn't read well and it actually makes the editor's job much harder and then the reviewer's job harder if it goes out to review. Uh, to give that paper, actually to give the paper a fair hearing, um, to give it a fair assessment um, and it can be extremely off-putting for an editor to get a paper that actually it may be really sound but it's not obvious and it's really difficult for the editor to see that. So if your paper hasn't been looked at by a, a, a natural English speaker of some sort then get it done. I think there are also a, a really key thing is to look at author guidelines. I mean journals do publish these for a good reason because those are the things that matter to the journal and they may not just be about formatting your paper in a certain way, they may include really key information about writing the paper uh, in a good way that's compliant with for example the equator network guidelines for, uh, for trial reporting um, or information about data policy and so on. Um, so that's all about the interest of giving, making the, the finished product, if I can put it like that, as the submission that comes to the journal um, as watertight and as high quality as possible.